It's Dale with Never Enough Diving. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a hogfish version of Catch Clean Cook. I uh, shot this hogfish yesterday out of Jupiter, Jupiter, Florida in about 100 and, uh, 130 feet of water. Um, if you know the big ledge out of Jupiter, there's an area out there called Hole in the Wall. Uh, I wasn't on that exact area, but on the, on the big ledge. So I got this hogfish, uh, sold everything else but decided to bring a hogfish home for dinner. And I'm gonna be cook, uh, cleaning it. I'm gonna be cleaning it this morning. And then uh, later on this afternoon, I'm gonna be cooking it. I think I'm gonna blacken it in the kitchen or my version of blacken. I, I do a version of blackening where it's not like super crazy, smoky, spicy, hot. Uh, it's just nice and spicy. So anyway, let's get started on this uh, beautiful hogfish here. And we'll get the cat to stop me out on here in a second because when she gets some fish, she stops me out for a minute. Uh, this is a, a new new knife I've been using lately. It's called, uh, it's made by CUDA. Um, there's nothing in it for me to show you this knife. Um, they don't sponsor me or anything. I just, I like the knife. It's titanium, not a spot of rust on it. Uh, and it's extremely sharp. So it's, it's, it's been doing pretty good with uh, cleaning. So let's get going here. It's a uh, it's pretty uh, pretty standard uh, way of cutting uh, cleaning fish with a hogfish. There's nothing special. And there there are guys that are much better at cleaning fish than I am. Faster anyway. I don't clean a lot of fish. Mostly sell it. Let's go down the. Uh, Backbone on this side. Hogfish is known for its beautiful white, non fishy tasting meat. Um, I truly believe that anyone who says they don't like fish has never eaten, eaten a fresh hogfish. This big, big, uh, big blade. It's uh, thicker. It's got, it's got really no flex to it. So it's a little bit different than, than your normal fillet knife. Where, um, with a normal fillet knife, you've got a thinner blade that flexes. Uh, this one does not flex. So you've just got to angle, angle yourself around the, the bones and stuff. 
But man, it's really sharp, it does a great job. I shouldn't be making a commercial for this knife, but it seems like that's what it's turning into. Let me see if I need to shut the cat up for a second. You want that? There you go. And I just come through and start going through the ribs. I'm gonna try not to leave too much meat for the raccoons. I know there's guys out there that probably could have cleaned five hogfish by now. So we'll just take out the rib bones here. It's shaped a little bit different than normal fish. It's a little bit extra tall. So there's a decent piece of meat that kind of comes under the ribs that I try to leave on there. And obviously we don't want to leave bones on it. Gonna let, let the cat eat the bones, but I'll try to get some meat off here for her. She could probably eat this whole daggum fish. She's a beast. Now these are what uh, I think most people call these the pen bones. It's a little set of bones that go kind of sideways to the rib cage, like on a salmon. It's uh. You see people pulling them out with tweezers after they fillet it. I do let the cat eat those. They're very small bones. And uh, she has no problem with it. She's been eating it for years, so I'm assuming it's okay. Might even get the chickens in on some action. This is that weird strip of meat that comes in at the top of where the fin is. I'm not sure exactly what. It's certainly edible, but I usually give that to the chickens. Everybody gets a treat. I can scrape a pretty good amount. The cat's not very picky. Oh, she is very picky. She didn't eat that last piece. All right, so that's half of it. A lot of people um, call hogfish their favorite fish. Uh, I decided a few years ago to not have a favorite fish. I have a favorite, um, I have several favorite bit fish, and uh, hogfish is definitely in the top. For me, I just have a top tier, and uh, that top tier includes uh, hogfish, black grouper, scamp grouper, uh, triple tail is amazing, wahoo is really, really good, cobia, all those are top tier for me. Uh, Scamp grouper, if I didn't say that already, I might have said that already. Um, believe it or not, I am not a, I catch a lot of tile fish. I don't think it's as good as everybody says it is. Um, I've heard people refer to tile fish as poor man's lobster. I disagree. Tile fish to me just tastes like a big grouper. other side a little bit a little bit left on there for the kitty cat you want some more hmm? all right so we're doing all right a little bit of, a little, no it's not perfect but you can see through it pretty good I don't think you can read through it but you can see through it um, and there's a ton of meat left on this head uh, this is really good if you want to if you want to make a fish stock or something like that you just rinse the slime off um, and go about making stock and there's probably I mean this thing if you made a fish head soup or something it would probably feed at least a few people 
But I'm not really into that, so. By the way, I am wearing the, our newest version of the Never Enough Dive, Never Enough Diving Tech shirt. Uh, we are thinking about possibly selling these. Uh, I definitely want to do a giveaway soon, a subscriber giveaway on YouTube and and or TikTok, Instagram. <clears throat> if you guys are interested in one of these or if you, you think it'd be a good idea to maybe sell them or do a giveaway, just let me know in the comments. Got pen bones. Notice you always pull on the skin. Once you get it started, you don't slide the knife back and forth. You just pull on the skin, and it gives you a little bit better control as far as not getting, uh, not ripping through. So there's fillet number two. Got a weird meat on there. All right. Probably uh, close to a pound uh, fillet, maybe a little bit more. So we probably got a little bit more than two pounds off of this. Uh, and I'm gonna be um, I'm gonna be cooking for me and my wife later on tonight, so I'm gonna just probably make one of these, and uh, maybe one of my friends will get the other one. So uh, we'll be back with you in a little bit when it's time to cook, and hope you enjoyed this video. See you later.